These are the Technics AZ60 Mark II high-res audio noise-canceling earbuds and I did do a live unboxing and kind of review of these earbuds. It wasn't my best live stream performance, I'll admit that. So what I've done is I've taken that live stream, I've cut the best bits out of it, put it all together so it's nice and short for you guys. Check this out, I did manage to get an interview with one of the product managers behind this here in the UK. And shout out to Lucas from MediaLook.tv for capturing this interview. Check this out and then we'll go straight into the best bits from the live stream. Well, hello, I'm Ryan Yu. I'm the product manager for Panasonic UK. We are very pleased to introduce the new generation Technics True Wireless Earbuds. That includes our flagship model AZ80 and also AZ60 Mark II. We're bringing to the market a new flagship model that is by far, in my opinion, the best sounding earbuds Technics have ever made. And also, we're introducing great functionality such as three-point simultaneous Bluetooth multi-point connection, and the switching between them is seamless. Also, we're improving noise cancellation performance, as well as improving the Just My Voice technology, which enables people to call and communicate in any circumstances, whether it's loud, on the street, in a cafe, on a walk, the earbuds will cut out the background noise and deliver your voice only to the receiver. The second model that we're introducing is AZ60 M2. So this is a Mark II generation improved model versus the last year model that is the AZ60. The main improvement points are we are introducing three multi-point connection, similar to the AZ80, you can connect them with three devices at the same time. Also, we're improving the Just My Voice, just as the AZ80, but in terms of the sound quality, this is similar to last year model for the AZ60. It's using a similar driver, but the AZ80 has a different driver, a larger driver, a different material. And also we're introducing new functionality such as wireless charging to the AZ60 Mark II, as well as wearing sensor. Uh, we will introduce the Technics Audio Connect app, an updated version, which will suit both the AZ80 80 and a 60 Mark II. We have made major improvements to the app. So not only you can see the charge left on the earbuds, you can also see the charge left on the charging cradle itself. And we have introduced personalization um, possibilities to set the earbuds to customize the noise cancellation performance based on the user. So what we recommend people to do is the first time you use these earbuds, go to a noisy environment, maybe put an extractor fan on and then use different sizes of the tips that we provide to find the best fit for you and then go to the setting in the app. Use the slider to set the best option for you in terms of noise cancelling performance. Once that's set once, it will be memorized and that is then the customer's customized noise cancelling function for you. Also in the app, we have functions such as you can change the touch control, the touch sensor on both sides, various options available to accommodate general use or when you're in a phone call. So all the functions are available and you can customize them as you see fit. So the AZ 80s and AZ 60 Mark II will both be introduced in May 2023. The introduction price for the AZ 80 will be £259 at the RRP and the AZ60 Mark II will be capped at the same RRP as the previous generation AZ60 at £199. These are the second generation um, of the AZ60 M2. I didn't hear the first ones, uh, but I heard they're very good. I did watch a Flossie Carter video on the first version and he was really impressed with them. He even put them in his top three at the time, but that was quite a few years ago. So there's been a lot of earbuds since then. From what I know about these is there has been some upgrades and we'll get to those. But first let's unbox these and, and get a close look at the design. I'll do this in my old school style, the design first, the usability, so the controls and the app, and then the sound quality. I'll give you my first impressions of the sound quality. So these are high res audio earbuds, noise cancelling. So Noise cancelling is where the exterior mics on the earbuds can capture the ambient noise, play it in reverse phase inside the earbuds, therefore cancelling out sort of rumbling noises typically created by trains, planes and cars and stuff like that. If you think these are going to block out uh, babies crying on the plane, yeah, that, that is uh, still not possible. We're still limited by the technology of our time. One day, they'll figure that out. Playback in the buds, 17 hours in total. One of the things that I like about what Technics do with this particular measurement, that's with ANC on. A lot of earbud manufacturers in an attempt to sort of sell products will always give you the best case scenario with ANC off and they'll come up with some crazy number that's not really that accurate 
because most people with noise cancelling earbuds will use the noise cancelling. So I appreciate that techniques, uh, that's fantastic. I believe the packaging is all 100% plastic free as well. There is no plastic to cut in there actually at all. That's all cardboard. Right, so the earbuds, as you can see, are in here. Silicon tips, I'm assuming. Also, there's a QR code for the app to download. It's also got a little explanation of the capacitive touch controls. And uh, when we open this up, you'll see it comes with uh, maybe the best selection of ear tips <laughs> of any earbuds. This is where the medium ones that are already fitted to them would be. One of the things I noticed about this, if they're the same as the ones that came with the flagship, which I'm assuming they are, these ear tips are not just your cheap ones. These are a bit better. Well, they're a lot better. And because you've got a bit of a mesh there, that will stop any sort of earwax getting on the grill. So that's good. So you can literally just take these off and clean them. In the box here, usual literature, your user manual, quick start guide, warranty stuff, all that. Charging cable. And then you'll see this is just wrapped in a, pl in a not plastic, a paper. No plastic in the box at all. And there's the case. I have to say, I prefer the black finish than the silver one. But you've got the Technics logo embossed on the top, flat base on the bottom, so you can put it on the table, it's not gonna roll around. The buds themselves got this kind of radial design on the top. You'll notice as well, LED light on the front here and on the back, USB-C charging port. Now something that this has that the previous version of this did not have is wireless charging. A lot of people complained about that. I think it's one of those things that people think that they want but when they actually have it they don't use it that much but it's nice to have <laughs> so this is what they look like you've got the uh, mic on the outside so that's going to be one of the noise cancelling mics and then when you turn it around these do appear to have wear detect sensors now as well the previous version didn't have that see that little flashing light there pull that off you see the driver the previous ones were so popular that they didn't need to upgrade the um, the driver but now you've got the LDAC codec. So the uh, the tagline here for the Mark IIs is crystal clear sound, now wireless, from work to life, and everything in between. <laughs> uh, so they've got the eight millimeter drivers, acoustic structure, category leading noise cancellation, LDAC, also Alexa built in as well. Yeah, so something about the, um, the styling of the earbuds, I'll show you this because it's quite important is the actual shape of the earbuds is what they call a concha shape. This kind of sits fully in the ear. There's a feed forward and a feedback mic. So basically there'll be a mic facing outwards and one facing inwards and to measure the sound in between, simplifying it a bit too much, but uh, yeah, so that's the noise cancelling feature. They are the first earbuds to have three point pairing. So that means you can pair the earbuds to your phone, your tablet, and even your watch simultaneously if you wanted to, or your tablet, uh, whatever it is, but three devices. Yeah, so when you pop the lid, you do get the automatic pairing. So some of the new additions to the app is the, the previous app didn't have the battery level on the home screen. Now you've got the battery level in the case and the earbuds. Then we've got these four sections. So the noise canceling here, um, you can adjust the level specific to your ears. You've also got a dial here to adjust the amount of noise canceling on the fly and you can do the same with the ambient pass-through. But there's two versions of the ambient pass-through. There's the transparent where you can hear everything. You probably want to use that for when you're sort of jogging or at the gym or whatever, so you can hear what's going on around you. But the attention one focuses specifically on voice. So this is better when you want to talk to somebody. <laughs> so I did this test in my in my review of the, um, the AZ-80s. So basically what I did was played road noise, max out the road noise, and make sure the noise cancelling is on maximum and I'm going to see how many clicks down from the top uh, before I can't hear the road noise anymore. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So at that point I can't hear anything from the phone, it's literally less than 30 centimeters from my face but it is still making noise. Big fan of EQs, and I'm a big fan of the fact that they uh, leave it on the flat profile of the box, because when you first listen to these on the flat profile, they're actually really nice on the flat profile, but then you do get extra bass, which is what a lot of people like. Then you've got super bass, which is what I really liked with the other ones, 
you've got vocal which is better for podcasts and audio books and things like that treble for more instrumentals dynamic is the sort of all round and for older styles of music the dynamic eq is a good option you also got the um the custom eq now i'm a big fan of custom eqs i think everybody everybody's ears are different sound is very subjective a song that you liked someone else hates vice versa some people like more bass some people like more clarity and all this kind of stuff so when you have an eq it gives you the option to to really dial in your own sound and i'm a big fan of that there's only one problem with this eq is there's only five bands which doesn't give you a whole lot of control and on top of that you can only save one so with other apps you can save several the sort of saving grace is the fact that the other ones the, the default ones are very good so that's pretty cool um back to the home screen uh the find my headphones feature is very good so you can emit a sound never do this with these in your ears i don't know if you guys can hear that so if you lose them down the side of a sofa or something like that you can use that feature there be very careful not to do that whilst uh, in your ears you'll deafen yourself the other feature we have on the app is the check uh, position so this is using google maps the last known position will be updated really accurately as well so you have to enable location services all the time for that to work properly and then there's this feature here which is an interesting one it's a feature that i think some people will appreciate it's not something i would use very often but it's it's nice that it's there it is the just my voice test so basically you put the earbuds in let's say you're in a noisy place and you've got to do a conference call or something and it's quite noisy around you and you're not sure if it's going to be too distracting for the other people what you can do is go next here you can do start the test and what it will do is you're talking it will play it back to you so you can hear how it sounds to the other person but yeah it's quite a good feature uh it's nice that it's there um let me know what you think about that is that going to be useful for you but there's so much stuff going on deeper within the app change the language you can change the voice prompt from prompt to just a sound. So at the moment it talks, it will talk to you in whatever language you've chosen. You can switch between those headphones, find the headphones, auto power off. So that's when the headphones are not playing any music for a certain amount of time, they'll switch off. And I think it's good to this off, particularly if you're gonna get these for plane journeys or train journeys or whatever, because sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you just wanna sleep on a plane. And if you've got noise canceling earbuds on and you don't wanna play music, you just want to block out the noise you can leave the earbuds in and they won't turn off if you have um the auto off as soon as it doesn't listen to music play music for so much time it will turn off the fitting sensor that's the wear detect sensor it knows when you take the earbuds out of your ears that they're not in your ears anymore and it knows when you put them back in so that's why when i put them back in it started playing music automatically touch sensor so you could turn off the touch sensors when the earbuds are not in your ears so when the earbuds are not in your ears the touch sensors don't work that's that's pretty cool button customization so you can set up a single double triple and long hold and uh, you can do the same for telephone calls as well so you can get quite technical with this and there's a lot of options as well <laughs> ambient mode settings um yeah so that's just similar to what we saw before from the home screen optimizing noise cancellation so that's uh, your sort of personal adjustment to the levels of the noise cancelling and you can do the same thing here uh, with the background uh, noise so you can turn it to strong so uh, this is for voice calls so if it's really noisy where you are um, you can turn the noise cancellation from the voice call uh, mics to strong and that will block out more noise and then we've got select voice assistant so yeah we can set it to whatever we want the reality is one of the most important features for me personally is this the LDAC feature and it's buried within the settings this should be on the home screen for Android users so you can just toggle it on and off. So when we switch that on, it disconnects from the uh, the earbuds and it will switch to LDAC as long as the phone supports it. Um, so that way you get the best quality sound to the earbuds possible. For me, that's a really, really important feature because sometimes you want the best sound and it doesn't matter about the battery and the multi-point pairing. You just want the best sound possible. Also here as well, very important setting as well as the uh, prioritize connection setting so for example this will switch back to SBC and I believe this is the better mode for gaming where latency um, is, is more important so it would be good to see a gaming specific switch somewhere um, because there will be some people that want to game with the earbuds and I think this is it it's just labeled differently 
I'll turn it down a bit so I'm not shouting at the mic. Sound quality is really nice. Detailed, very detailed. The bass on the flat profile is quite flat. But you hear it, it's got a good thud to it. I'm going to turn up the bass now. So, default sound nice they do sound nice i've been slightly spoilt by the flagship ones though <laughs> i'm impressed that sounds nice that's a nice amount of bass comfortable amount of bass some of the tracks i listen to when i test headphones are here this one is very very bass heavy so this is a good one for the super bass setting let's see how it does yeah that's nice nice super bass this eq kind of picks up the mid range in the vocal range Get a nice spacious sound from these, definitely. Yeah, very impressed with these earbuds. Very impressed with these earbuds. Anyway, appreciate you guys for watching. Yeah, see you in the next one, guys.